The embryonic development of animals always begins with the union of the egg and the sperm. When they join together, then the DNA uh, combines into a zygote, and then mitotic division begins. When mitosis continues during cellular division, then it creates a blastocyst, which eventually becomes a, an embryo, and then that turns into a fetus, at least in mammals such as yourself. When animals make this zygote and eventually a blastula and a gastrula, a hole forms, and that hole is known as a blastopore. It's known as the first hole. That blastopore is the beginning of the gut or the digestive tract of any animal. In primitive animals, the blastopore turns into the mouth of the animal. The gastrula of a jellyfish has a blastopore, which eventually turns into the jellyfish's mouth. And that mouth is very interesting because its job is to take in food and also to excrete it. A jellyfish has no anus. In more complex animals, when the gastrula forms, then it forms a blastopore and a gut, and then eventually it forms a second opening. And this second opening eventually becomes the anus of the animal. This is true in mollusks, in arthropods, in earthworms, and in other invertebrates. In other animals, such as vertebrates, then the story is different. The blastopore becomes the anus, and the other opening is the one that becomes the mouth. So you see the gastrula makes a blastopore and the other opening. And the fate of the blastopore and the other opening really depends on what kind of animal we're talking about. In echinoderms and vertebrates, the blastopore becomes the anus. And in arthropods and mollusks and worms, then the blastopore becomes the mouth. Those are called protostomes. And in some ways, they're very much the opposite of the deuterostomes.